to praise you. I lift my voice to say, I love you, you. To me, I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. We say to the 
concerning your going out and coming in. And whatever, no plague, no virus will near you or your dwelling places in the name of Jesus. My father, my all, I know that you do hear me always. This moment, over everyone under the influence of my voice, hear me and hear me. Members of Jesus' sanctuary and the joining children of God on the face of the earth, those under my influence, wherever you are watching me from, there are the sound of this voice. This voice is an authority in the realm of the dead, in the realm of darkness, in the realm of the living, in the realm of the spiritual platform. And they do hear, and they know, and I've said so, that you will never die before your time. You will never mourn in the name of Jesus. You will never bury your children. And, of course, you will live to see your children, children. All those, any man or woman that will say no, the scripture is clear. They will become a ransom for you and your children in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right? And then, like I said, straight into the message. I want to appreciate each and every one of you, but today we began a teaching on Tuesday, and I liked it. In fact, I got a call from one of my pastor's friends in Nigeria, from Ibuzo. He's a barrister, of course, and a, a child of God, a son of God, a bishop in his house, in the church. I call him a bishop. He carries two cards. And, and we were talking about why we were talking. Something ministered to me. Because yesterday, I mean, on Tuesday, I began to, how do you survive this moment, this time? He said, it's how do you survive it? Because the Bible is clear. This, he said, there's a time for everything. But this is the time of lockdown. But this lockdown, the shape and the manner and the dimension is different. There have been lockdowns and lock up and whatever since in the 15th century, 14th century. And, uh, but this one is somehow, this one did not, did, did not remain or, or, or stay in a particular region. No, it touched every region, every dwelling place on the face, on the face of the earth. Wherever there is bread, it touched it. And mankind, we are perplexed. And we have a right to be perplexed because they have no. As I speak, as I yesterday, I was living to say, they are yet to understand. That's why they are yet to understand. Like I said, a virus is, is different from a bacteria because a bacteria is an odd disease. It has life, as I was told. I read it and I was told. So, in case I'm wrong, you know that I'm, I'm saying what I heard. Probably I didn't hear well. But I do understand. And But why I believe them is that they said a virus is neither classified as living or non-living. Why? A, ba a bacteria can exist on their own. A bacteria doesn't need a human body to exist. But a virus needs a human body. So that is why when, when I had that definition, and I said, oh, that is true, that's why they are saying, wash your hands. All man is doing and, and create distance, social distance, as we speak. Because they don't understand, they are yet to understand this kind. So to play it safe, which every person is being admonished to play it safe. You follow the rules. Be clean. Watch your hands. Create social distance. Visit, stay at home. Stay indoors. And we're, and we're thanking God for all those in, at, at the front line, uh, the, the nurses, the, the, the cleaners, the doctors. Every person playing one word, the carers. All of them are on front line helping people. But uh, we're asking God, we soak them in the blood of Jesus Christ, soak them in the blood, and let the blood help them, deliver them, so that they will not carry what they did not bargain for, in Jesus' name, of course. Now, and I began to teach on Tuesday, I said there's something about this virus, one way to survive is by, you need faith. But I won't go back there, but I needed to just touch on this more. You need faith. Because when you follow what you read in the newspaper, in fact, his hand that will place the food on the table, on the on the shelf, or the goods, or whatever, you receive parcel, envelope. So, and hand is the general overseer of the body. So, hand is so functional. So, why did they have to do with hand? When the issue of AIDS came around, which is still there, it is not eliminated. But in that time, it's very easy to avoid. Well, if you don't want to, if you're not sure, you don't meet any person that is not your wife or your husband. 
So AIDS can be easily be controlled. But how do you control hand now? Because there's hand in everything that you do. Everything. The doctor must touch you. The nurse will touch you. You must touch something. You must touch your key. You must touch your phone. In fact, the other day, I said, okay, am I cleaning my key on my phone? And you get, you get, okay, but all we are doing, it is which is good. However, you, so but faith, you need faith. I so said, people live in fear. People are paralyzed. And many people may even die before the virus comes. Because this virus has the, has the symptoms of a normal sickness. Now, the weather has changed in uh, Europe. Uh, this is the time of spring. And you have all kinds of um, flu. Of, so people are coughing. People are sneezing. Now, when you sneeze now, it is a problem. When you sneeze, when you sneeze everybody is alarmed. Which, before it was normal. It was normal. But now, people, when even you, you, you live in fear. And that is why you don't allow fear to paralyze you. Because this thing has to do with fear. And the fear, and Satan can take advantage of this. Even though Satan did not promote this. Because according to Isaiah, please go to that Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 26, 20 to 21. Satan did not promote this as far as I'm concerned. This is the first time I will speak for Satan. Because I know he cannot do this. No man can do this. Satan was created by God. I was created by God. You cannot do this. Satan cannot do this. Because he cannot be everywhere at the same time. It's not possible. Only God is omnipotent. I'm with you. Isaiah 26, verse yes. 20 to yes. 21. Okay. Come, my people. He said, come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers. He said, be, lock down yourself, yes. And shut thy doors about thee. Close your doors about thee. Hide this thyself. This is the time to be in, in hiding. Yes. As it were for a little moment. As it were for a little while. Until the indignation be overpassed. Until this indignation, this thing that is happening that we cannot know the end or the, the beginning or the end. We cannot understand the trajectory or the chemistry of this virus. We cannot understand even the geography. Because no person is sure where it's coming from. Yes. For behold, yeah. the Lord cometh out of his place uh -huh. to punish the inhabitants of the earth okay. for their iniquity. For your iniquity, of course, and for the first time, if you whether you like it or not, the environment is cleaner. They were showing on CNN, they were showing California where there used to be dusty or somehow we, we but it's so clean, the skies are so clean, the oceans are so clean, are so quiet, the the forests are so relaxed. The everywhere, if you come at night, you know, everywhere is quiet. There's come semblance of peace. There's less noise. No pam, 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 pam. No. So everywhere seems to be quiet. The beer palace are closed. The clubs are closed. The excite your senses areas are closed. In fact, and indeed, this is the most spiritual aspect of the world. Though. If you ask me, this is the most holy aspect. This is most holy. And that will tell you it is not for nothing. It is for something. God is giving advantage to me and you for us to reassess ourselves because of what is coming. Eventually, the world will come to an end. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe the world will begin one day, it will end one day. Anything that has a beginning has an end. That I do know. That I can easily prophesy. And we, and, and we are saying on on Tuesday, you need faith to live in this hour. Today, you, you, you don't need only faith. You not need, this is the time you pray as never before. You must be prayerful in this season. In this season where you are not too sure of what is going on. This is the time you don't even read Bible more. This is the time you pray more. Why? When you read Bible, God is speaking to you. This is the time for you not to speak to God. Mm. This is time for you to ask questions. This is time for you not to speak to God. He said, my people, I have locked you down. This is the time to speak to God. Prayer is multidimensional. But one of the key things about prayer, I said that prayer is more important than reading the Bible. To read the Bible, of course, is, uh, is for you to hear from God. And of course, you, God has been speaking to you. 
So all these, uh, to all these, most of the uh, most of the pastors and ministers, including me, we preach and preach. But I know I give up prayer point every Sunday, and I will explain it why. I, I will I will tell you why members of Jesus Sanctuary are known for prayer, both here and anywhere that we are. Any pastor of Jesus Sanctuary immediately we discovered if you are not following the pattern of my prayer, that is uh, we we don't keep you. Because it means that anybody can preach. Satan is a good preacher. Any person can preach. Any person can do. In fact, you can do any kind of thing and still preach. You can drink and take beer and live or anyhow and preach. Because you are not the one preaching. It is the Spirit of God in you. That's why Paul said that, let me not be used. Let me not lead others to heaven and miss heaven. So it is capable or, or rather, it is possible to lead people to heaven through preaching and good message. That's why a pastor can do all kinds of lifestyle. He can do all kinds of things. He can, he can preach good because Satan is a good preacher. Satan is good in preaching. Analytical reasoning. He can teach all kinds of things using the scriptures to let it, uh, even though he turns it upside down for his own gain. That's why you can see preachers who can turn this, this, this word of God so for their own belly. And Paul said that they are preaching for their belly. So this word of God can be used for your belly. No, but prayer cannot be used. Because prayer is when you are communicating with God. So you are placed now, but if you don't know how to pray before, if you are used to going to church and they teach you what you hear about the economics, how the seven principles of success. You cannot pray now. You cannot pray. You will just, you, you, and, you, and you find yourself, in fact, a preacher even told me yesterday that most of the pastors, they are going to have problems after this because more the, the, the voodoo that we use in the church, it will end. It will be mitigated. It will lose potency because there is no re-energization. Any church where they feed you every, every Sunday, it's a voodoo church. Quote me anywhere. Any church they feed you, there must be coolers of rice and chicken and all those things. All those things are satanic, I mean, satan, devilish snare to keep you in the church. And some people go to hunger for food in the church. To give, and they don't feed the poor, those who, are, who need the food outside. Though. They feed those who come to church. And any person that comes to church, that can afford to come to church is well off in that sense. But why do we feed them? Like I've said before, if you watch, I'm, I've been saying it, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it. 90% oh, of the churches are using it for voodoo. Because what you feed, you keep. They said it's the easiest way to a man's uh, heart is through the belly. But I'm not come to speak about man. I'm trying to tell them the importance of prayer. Matthew, go to go to Matthew 26 38 Matthew 26 when Jesus Christ was experienced a lockdown you see what is it some people experience emotional lo lockdown physiological, physio physiological lockdown psychological lockdown and some of you you delete all the known numbers of your friends or you, ju you just shut that out of the world and stay indoors. It's being locked down. That is personal. When Jesus Christ experienced a lockdown, when he found out that, he said something, and which I will share and with you. Matthew 26, verse 38. Yeah, yes. Then said he unto them. Then Jonah said unto them, yes. My soul is exceedingly he sorrowful. Said, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful. Even unto death. Even unto death, unto frustration. Now, many people's souls are sorrowful. Some people are frustrated. You can't go out. All your ideas, all your wisdom, all those billions, all those connections, all those contracts, all those things, all those things has just ended. You cannot even travel anywhere. You are within the four walls of your house. So it could be very frustrating. If we, it tells you technical imprisonment, because we are, we are technically imprisoned, but not by the government or not by any authority, Region, but by unseen power. And that's why I said it takes faith to fight the unseen. 
because you need the power of prayer to fight the unseen. This is unseen, uh, un, unseen enemy. Therefore, you need the, the unseen God or the power, the one that knows the beginning from the end in order to remain on course so that you will not die before your time. Because Satan is the, may use the advantage of this moment to begin to attack people and they call every death Corona is, uh, attack, corona, uh, every death. Even when people are dying normally, they say it is, it, it is. Even when it is a normal death, because at times they will just test and say it is. And they begin to, and uh, probably, I'm not saying, because people have been dying before now. But me and you, there's a time for everybody to go. I don't know it. You don't know it. But what we are praying that, not the, not the death of virus or the death of man. No, 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 no. Where we will go, we don't know, and you cannot help it. Jesus Christ was in that situation. What did he do? He went into prayer. In order to check out and say, heaven, am I checking you out? Are you, is this because he knew he would die? But when the season and the environment and the moment of death appeared, he did something. He went into prayer. Why are you praying? So that if anything happens, fine, good, you have done your best. You know, not every death at, 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 at this moment or season is, is because of the virus. Some people are already ordained to go this time and this season. But our prayer is that the enemy cannot take the advantage because Satan has one thing he does. He will want to take advantage of this moment. But he will never take it over me and you in the name of Jesus, over our children, over everyone under the influence of my voice. Satan will never have take that advantage in order to cut short your, your life. Because Ecclesiastes 7, 17, Ecclesiastes 7, 17, I will read it. He said, why die before your time? So not every death is of God. What did Jesus Christ do? He went to pray. He went to pray. He sat apart. And something happened in, in the book of John. In the book of John, 12, 27 to 29. And something happened. In the book of John, in the book of John 12, 27 to 29, something happened. A voice came to confirm to him that this is the death originally planned. So he relaxed and was it. Now is my soul troubled. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ said, now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? And what shall I say? Father. Father, I was praying. Save me from this hour. Save me from this dark hour, this moment and the season and the time of death and with it but for this cause but for this cause came i unto this hour even though i came unto this time unto this hour for pastor Sanko, yes father father glorify their name glorify your name then came there a voice from heaven so if you want that prayer he said father um somehow i'm feeling because i have my disciples i want to go but i want to make sure it's not the death of herod of man the Sadducees and the Pharisees. I hope this is your own. I hope you have approved it. If it's your will, I resign to faith. I can't do anything about it. It's the hour and the season of darkness. But a voice came and said what? I would do. Saying, I have both glorified it. God said, I have already glorified it. And yes. will glorify it again. I will glorify it again, yes. The people, therefore, uh -huh. that stood by uh -huh. and heard it, uh -huh. said that it thundered. God says that, God will tell Jesus, I approve this. I, I have approved it. Yes? And angels, and angels I, I'm okay. to him. And the, and the angel spoke to him. I, I, but he was praying. And that is why I'm going to connect this. Make sure you follow me. I began with faith and confession in this moment of time. Then today I'm talking about prayer. It's key. Why do you pray? I'm going to explain that for you by God's grace on Tuesday. Because prayer will bring revelation. But let me, first of all, excavate on the issue of prayer. Mark 13, 33 to 37. Mark 13, 33 to 37. That's why the Bible says, watch and pray. So this is the hour that you don't watch all the video films, all the pornographic uh, um, films, all those useless things. It doesn't help you now. Some of you there, I don't know about, some of you looking for tall or black men or women on the telly, all those things that they show you, because the Satan too is promoting it now. 
Because everybody is at home now. Satan is saying, this is an opportunity. Let me, let me penetrate some people and capture some people. He will, he will not capture me and you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, he will never be, capture our children because the telling is very powerful. It can penetrate the soul realm. The soulless realm can be arrested through the, through the, through the air. And with you. Mark 13, verse 33. Yes. Take ye heed. Yes. Watch and pray. He said, watch and pray. I'm okay there. He said, watch and pray. But some people are watching and they're not praying. They, they are watching television, watching social media. And those people who send you all those things, I delete them. I don't like social media because it is a distraction. Some of you spend time and you are carrying one story to the other. This is the time to watch and pray. You watch and you pray. He didn't say only watch only. He said watch and pray. And some people are only praying too. They are not watching. No. You pray and pray and pray and pray. You are times after praying, after praying, I sit down and said, what is the news for today? I will, I will, I will hear. I, I, wanted to, I want to know any improvement, any discovery. All these things we are praying. But you don't only begin to watch news. Do you know that you can sit down in your heart from nine, from nine or seven to seven in the evening, from one story to the other, from one story, and you are just wasting your time. You can't pray. You can't even study the Bible. People read Bible not less. Why? I don't. You should pray more now than reading the Bible. You should talk to God now. This is the time to talk to Him, because this is the time you are in your closet. You say, God, kill your day. What is the problem, sir? You talk to Him and say. And you plead and you make your case. Because you, this is the prayer is when you speak to God. You, you, add, you pour out your, your body unto him. Your fears and your anxieties. So instead of you to, realm, to remain in the realm of fear and anxiety, go into a prayer. Number one, there are so many aspects of prayer. So I begin from the norms of prayer. Every prayer, that's are some of you. There's a sample that asked me. I went to Jerusalem and the and my and my rabbi friends. They were asking me, they came to see me, about two of them in the hotel room, and said, How do I pray from for four hours, five hours? How? They, they were asking me, they said, How? Because I will stand. And they, they don't know that four hours is like one hour. I don't even feel it. I don't and I told them that. It's not by, by your effort because this is how, how they pray. No, it's not by doing so. No, you must be tuned to God before I make my confession, before I sing. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Before I will sing so that I will get tuned. But when you pray carnally, you will be tired. Five minutes will be like one hour. But when you first of all get tuned into the spirit realm, you can spend five hours praying. You can spend six hours praying. And you are even enjoying it. Because when you are praying without enjoying it, the presence of God is not with you. I will say it again. When you are praying, you are enjoying it, the presence of God is with you. And you will not want to even leave. And the Spirit of God will, 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 will not want you to even leave. You will be, I will, at times, I will be singing from one song to the other. I will be praying. I will be singing. I will have unction. I will have unction. I will hold myself. And it's like I am enjoying eternity. The, the presence of God is so powerful. If that's what I told God, instead of your presence to leave me, take me that day because it will be useless to remain on planet Earth. Is it Hebrews 6 from verse 4? He said that. Once you have tested of the gift of the, of the Holy Spirit, ah, if you depart from faith to bring you back, it's almost impossible. I will say it again. Once you have tested of the gift of the Spirit, th that's why you see all the... Oh, yes, I'm with you. Hebrews 6, verse 4. Yeah. For it is impossible uh -huh. for those who were once enlightened uh -huh. and have tasted of the heavenly gift. And you have tasted of the heavenly gift. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And you are a partaker of the Holy Ghost. And have tasted the good word of God. And you have tasted the goodness of the word, of the works and the word of God. And the powers of the world to come. And the, and the power therefrom. If they shall fall away. If they fall away. 
to renew them again unto repentance. He said it is almost impossible to bring them back. That's why when pastors get into error, they continue that error. I have seen it. Because what did I tell God? I said, when God was revealing all these mega churches in Nigeria, all those big churches, God is not with them, all of them. Quote me anywhere. And that's why I've said it. So there's no, I've said it if you watch what I've said. When God revealed to me clearly, ah, but and I said, how can? How can? But look at the crowd. How can all this? How can? It's still God told me clearly. Clearly. And I, won't say, I don't know whom I want to speak to. God said, I never created Satan evil. That Satan was an angel. God told me. He told me. He said he was an archangel who had the sinking clothes. But one day he, he rebelled. So he said, even you, including you, you can fail. Wow. You can go opposite. He said, I didn't create Satan as Satan. No. Satan was created good. Perfect, excellent, magnificent. But one day he rebelled against God. He said, That is the problem of all these pastors. And they begin error. And they continue the error. And they assume Godship. And they begin to call themselves daddy and mommy in the church. Daddy, 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 daddy. And they take the place of God and begin to speak as God. And they don't hear from God again. When I was shouting on the uh, on the corona, I mean on the calamity coming, I prepared the church. No member of Jesus, no genuine one, even even the ungenuine ones, they, they cannot be surprised. They can they can't be surprised. Because God must tell you. If God is your if you are working for God, He must tell you what is about to come. He must. God, they have been cut off. All you are seeing is the function of man. If you have a fan at home and you off the fan, the fan will still be turning. The power is gone. And they use the wisdom of man. Wisdom of man. Wisdom. And they say that wisdom is the principal thing. That is the Bible. But they, he didn't tell you the wisdom of man is not the principal thing. Is the wisdom from God is the principal thing. However, what are the norms? I mean, what are the dimensions and the of prayer? One, you must understand that there's a norm. What is a norm? Sex, rules, regulation about prayer, norms. You must pray for your by faith. Your prayer must be because it is unseen God. That's why some people mold people, mold. And that's why some of you end up carrying the pictures of men of God in your pocket. If you carry my picture, you are, you are a fool. You are a spiritual fool. To so carry the picture of a man, which man? You are carrying my picture inside. the inside. And the people will tell you, the God of Pastor on the who? That is a wrong one. Because you saw you are the, the God of Elijah. Of course, He's saying that that is the God of Elijah. But Elijah was not worshipped. These days, we now worship the men of God. And you make them gods. Even though man has the ability to be gods. Because God has said, man is now a god. It is in the scripture. So, because man has the ability to play God. That's why people are playing God. Until you need them, they won't pray for you. Or they cannot speak to you until you need them. So some people will come and need them and be speaking to me. I was so crazy. I said, I said, why can you need them to speak to a human being? You speak to me one on one. Of course, respect is of essence. What you don't respect, but not over respect. Don't, that you begin to play God in the life of man. But there are norms of prayer. Number one is Hebrews 11, 1 and 6. But you... He said, you must pray with faith. What is faith? Evidence of something you, you have not seen. The proof. Why? The virus you are fighting is spiritual. So you need faith to follow it as well. Through prayer. Hebrews 11.6. He said, it is impossible to please God without faith. 
So number one thing that you must exercise faith through prayer. And when you are praying, I believe. No, there's, I believe on the face of the earth. No human being can do many things except God approved it. And if God did not approve it, they cannot do anything. If your hands are clean, he that seeks equity must come with a clean hand. But so yeah, Hebrews eleven six. Then you understand with you. But without faith, yeah, it is impossible to please him. So you need faith to pray, faith, and you pray in belief, and you pray, believing, not to do. Boy, uh, this prayer they do. Oh Lord, my God, have mercy. Yes, Lord. Remember in River Jordan. Are you in Jordan? Is there Jordan River in your village? So use your village and say, Oh Lord, my God, in the name of you. You did it in Jordan. Do it here. That's how I talk to God. In fact, at times I don't know. I don't know, but I will not share it. When uh, I talk, I, I can share it. My wife had a dream some years ago. I think we were still in Nigeria. He said that. Uh, in that dream, is is in is in a dream within a dream. That I was telling her in the dream that I want to see God. That God said it was, and so I was telling her what God said about about what I'm doing. That is so impressed that I'm doing that. That He has kept something for me that is fantastic in heaven, that I will marvel. But my wife said she was so happy. But but God said something that, that He said I have a fault. That I need to, that I have a fault. But when she woke up, she couldn't remember that fault. But he said in that dream, I was telling God to, you have the same fault. Ah, my wife said, in that in, in that state of dream, she was, hey, she became alarmed and said, how did God answer you? So that that joy that God said, we are doing well. We are doing well. And the church is doing well. He said, she was saying, how did God answer you? So she was not interested again about all I said. You asked, how did God answer this when I said, you two have that fault. You. Hey, my wife said, how did he answer you? I told her, God began to laugh. And she woke up. That I know what I told God. Because I later went into prayers. And I, said, I, I didn't even pray. God ministered to me what I, what I said to you. But I cannot share it. I won't tell you. Mm -mm, I won't tell you. He told me. Because I told God, you too, you have the same fault. <laughs> but God knows I said it out of, I'm sure. You know, when your child, when your child is accusing you, when he knows that I'm a, I'm a child, I'm a servant, a husband is talking to a guy. All right. But, so that's the way you pray to God. I talk to God in confidence. In prayer. I, I remember Kulanka. So you must pray with, with faith. But if you pray doubting, the double-minded people don't get anything from God. Uh, God, if it's your will, uh, uh, you are a gracious God, even though we have sinned. I say, God, I have sinned, but Jesus Christ has died. I have mercy. No, I'm mad I have flesh. I, you create, I have flesh now. But have mercy. Have mercy. When you are talking, I talk to God as my children talk to me. They talk to me, yeah. You, your, your child talks to you, especially when they are young now. Not now they have not matured. So when they are talking to you, they can be talking to you in parables. <laughs> but when they are children, they, they can talk like my daughter would come there when she was young, about two years or three years old. She would bring Ken and said, I will flog you. I will flog you now. Because she sees me on that unction in the church. She sees tears. I say, if I'm singing, then I began ministry. Tears everywhere on that unction. So if I'm not, she, she must be thinking, why is she always crying so that I'm a weak man? So you come after service, I need to tell that you are flogging you now. <laughs> you know, so but now, but now, th that's where children are, 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 there's somebody looking at me. Your childlessness has ended in the name of Jesus. Every account that hindered it, because somebody, I got a revelation. Any member of Jesus' sanctuary, the Ekan that God exposed, those Ekan, two of them, God has exposed them, and they will never be part of us again in the name of Jesus. God has uprooted them from this church in the name of Jesus. And my Father and my all. 
they will pay for all what they have done. If they have hindered the stance of our children, which you will always pray, let their own, their own children and their star, let them be truncated in Jesus' name. I pray it. I don't care. If I undo people, I should be people too. If they pray, it equally affects me. If I destroy other people's children, I have children, they will suffer it. But I know I will never. Far be it for me. Because whatever you sow, you will reap. The scripture does not know anybody. Now, apart from praying by faith, I don't know who I'm speaking to them now. You pray by the name John 6, John 16, please, 23. John 16, 23. Philippians 2, 9 to 10. Because of time, I got to run now. I got to run. John, the name, he said that. There's, you, you must pray with a name, not just come and pray. There's Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. That's why we say the great provider. God, I provide for me, for us, in the name of Jesus. I'm with you. John 16, verse 23. Yeah. And in that day, yeah. ye shall ask me nothing. He said, if you, you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Very, me, very, I say unto you. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father. Whatsoever we ask God. In my name. In the name of Jesus, he, in his name. He will give it to you. He said he will give it. Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, your name is God. Jesus, your name. We break every stronghold. Jesus, your name. Is God? Mm. I, I will sing it again. Jesus, your name is powerful. Mm. Jesus, your name is God. Jesus, your name. We you break every, every stronghold. stronghold. Jesus, yeah. your name is, is God. God. Father, I adore you. you. Alleluia. My, my life, life before, before you, before you I adore oh, you. Every stronghold that everybody tries, any satanic, demonic, occultic, marine strongholds, any man of God carrying Bible, all those holding you in bondage, any accursed man or woman in your life, in the life of your children, my by the reason of this prayer, I use that name of Jesus to separate them, to unloose and to untie all your blessings. And we're holding your children in bondage using voodoo. That voodoo has lost the strength behind it in Jesus' name. So the name of Jesus, that's a, um, Philippians 2 9 to 10, because of time. Philippians 2, 9, 9 to 10. Philippians 2, 9 to 10. Yes, I'm with you. The book of Philippians, it talks about... Philippians yeah, 2, 2, 9 to 10. Yes, ma'am, yes. I'm Wherefore God also has uh -huh. highly exalted him. He said God has highly exalted Jesus. And given him a name which is above every name. And given him a name above every other name. That at the name of Jesus. That at that name, at the mention of that name. Every knee should bow. Every kneel should bow. Must bow. Of things in heaven. Of things unseen. And things in earth. Of things seen. And things under the earth. Of things yet to be seen. And that every tongue should confess. And every tongue. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Every tongue must confess. Why you pray the, the norms of prayer? You, you need to pray. The wicked can pray to God. Satan cannot pray. Satan has faith too. The wicked people has faith, but they cannot pray. Psalm 10, verse 4. Psalm 10, verse 4. Satan has faith. Like, like I said in James 2, 19. Satan has faith. That's why he can do the things he will do. By faith, he will try you to see if you will fall. It's by faith. Satan has faith. But Satan cannot pray. When he has not gone to pray to the heaven is closed for him forever. He was driven out of heaven. So the heaven, the throne of God is closed against him forever. I'm with you. Psalm 10 verse 1. Yep. 
Why no, start? verse 4. Verse 4. Yes. The wicked, uh -huh. through the pride of his countenance, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. Will not seek after God. God is not in all of his thoughts. God is not in all. So God cannot hear them. They cannot see God. Because of time. That's why you, you pray with uh, Ephesians 6 to 17. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. I always give the word of God. In all my books, I will give the word of God a prayer. Because the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Like I said, all this, all this, all this prayer, Americanized prayer. All oh, the Lord of mercy. Lord, oh, Lord of mercy. The Lord, the one that moves on the ocean. The others, oh, da, da, da. Oh, Satan does not understand. He doesn't appreciate big grammar or phonetics or English. Yeah, he, he wants power. Power. Yeah, power. Then at level 32 B, he said, those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Those who know their God. I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. I don't want to sing. I know my God. I know my God. I know my God. My God knows me. Bramolo Sando, Rila Lamala, Sandoro, Bramolo, Maca Sando Rila, Bromolo Sando, Brumolo, Sandara, Na Etiti, Iao Sirike, Kaine, Ebosio Wagi, Odigi, Chiosa de Kagi, Isuroke, Nebena, Isi Nendo, Isuroke, Isuroke, Nebena. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like, like you. you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like, like you. you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Ramala Sandoro, Ramala Sandoro, Mo San Sandoro, Ramala Sandoro. You pray with the word of God, Ephesians 6 17. I got to run. I got to run. I'm with you. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of, of salvation, yeah. And the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Which is the word of God. We are fighting on sin enemy. The virus is on sin. So the virus cannot understand your grammar. But it can understand the word of God. Which is the sword of the unseen. That is the sword that reigns in the realm of the unseen. You have two, you have all kinds of realm. But there's the, the major realms. And the realm of the seen and the realm of the unseen, and you have a virus that has ability that has acquired body characteristics of the unseen and the seen. But he needs the body of the seen to operate. He will not use your body. He cannot relax on your body. On your palm, he cannot. Through your nose, he cannot. Through your mouth, or ear, he cannot. Because you are, you are, you, you, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I don't know who is looking at me. Any invocation where they have invoked your name, any day they will try it again. The blood of Jesus will answer them. I saw somebody praying against himself. <laughs> two, two nights ago, calling my name. I have the key to send you to your untimely grave. I have the key. Because, I, because if you think I don't know, I know a lot. Because you are already accost. It's very too easy to destroy an accost. Very easy. Because the person has been separated from the presence of God, from his foundation. The, why pray? This moment, we are calling for prayer. Oh, I got to run. I got to run. We are calling for prayer. Why? The necessity of prayer. There are moments you call for prayer. 
When there was 9-11 attack in America, they were holding prayer in the stadium. But now nobody's doing that. Stadium, they're holding prayer immediately. Well, they were praying. Second Chronicles 7, 14. Second Chronicles 7, 14. He said, when we, so when you pray in your family, in your home, you don't need to pray with your wife, husband and wife. You can be praying alone. At times I pray, I finish praying. I'm coming down in the morning by four. And my wife is coming down by that time to, to, to so, so you, you, you don't need to pray together. At times it's even good to pray differently. So that they don't, so that you don't get the, you don't, as you pray, dissipate all your effort at the go. No. So that one will continue after the other. So at times it's good to, but if, if one is not too strong, you pray together and with you. Second Chronicles 7, 14, please. Second Chronicles. It talks about the, ne the necessity of prayer. Yes, I'm with you. If my people. He said, if my people. Which are called by my name. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. If they can only humble themselves. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. And seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Now, and turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from he heaven. He said, God said, then I will hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. So, this is the time for us to not seek his face. So, this thing has even an advantage. Some of the pastors who don't have time, who fly about, including me, will fly to one country to another, fly there, some flying about. Then this is time now. You can't fly about now. This is time to pray. Some of you are professionals who are lawyers or engineers or, or, or doctors. This is time to pray. You don't have time now to have a meeting in, a, in, a, in Birmingham. I have a meeting the next week in Japan. So there's no Japan. In fact, they, they will not even allow you to fly in. So you are forced home. So you pray. This is the time we know the true Christian. So all those when you go to church and wear suit and they tell you what you want to hear on Sunday. I see you prophesy. Okay, where is the prophecy? Now that those who see your, your wife or your mother in the village cooking a goosey soup, why didn't they see this one? Because all these all these gimmicks that is going on in church, your phone number is 07. So if if you know my phone number, how does so? How? How is it from heaven? The phone number that is came from man. Is the phone number in heaven for God to download it to you in heaven? It is only what is in heaven that is easily be downloaded. Technical uh, yeah, ideally. It's only what is spiritual that interests me. The necessity of prayer. Exodus 2, 23 to 24. When you pray now, you could not activate your covenant with God. The, if you don't pray, then the, it, will not, it will bring it to memory, not into memory. It will activate that covenant you have with God. The children of Israel, they were frustrated, they were locked down, they were suffering, but what, they began to pray. And, and God said, Moses, where are you? You got to get ready. My God, my God, I can't sleep again. Heaven was vibrating. The children of Israel, they were crying unto God in Exodus 2. I'm talking about the necessity of prayer. I'm with you. Exodus 2, verse 23. Yeah. And it came to pass in the process of time exactly. that the king of Egypt died. Yes. And the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. Uh -huh. And they cried. And they cried. And their cry came up unto God. And their cry came unto God. By the reason of the bondage. If they didn't cry, their cry rose as a demand on the throne of God. And God said, Oh my God, oh yeah. Oh, I don't know who is, who is looking at me. This lockdown, use it to uh, ask God, what, what have you done now? What have you done that you are childless or you are penniless or you are this or you are having challenges? God, why are you like that to me? Ask him, you will get an answer. Cry unto him. Don't cry unto man. And that's why the, the, the disciples, when they were living in fear, paralyzed by the fear of the of the Sadducees and the Pharisees, fear of their life as we are feared of our life. And they were locked in. They were locked in in, in, in Jerusalem. And they tarried in Jerusalem, locked down themselves. As they were praying, something happened in Acts 2-4. The Spirit of God came upon them. 
and they became bold and they step out and the fear disappeared. I don't know who's looking at me. There's a man looking at me. That hand, uh, that hand affliction, healing has come. The arrow has gone back. Fear did not. That hand, God is going to, that hand is going to be a blessing unto people. Yes, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, because of time, because of time. Yeah, okay, Acts 2, oh, Acts 1, 8, uh, Acts 2, 4, then we, we go. But ye shall receive power. Yes. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. He said you will receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. But they tarried in Jerusalem. When they were in hiding and praying, we are all locked in and praying. If you come out as you are before, you are a disappointment. I will say it again. After this lockdown, you didn't learn anything spiritual, and you, you add all the weight. You need deliverance. If after this lockdown, all you gain is traditional flesh, weight, your tummy is, no, I won't, I won't talk of tummy because I have my, but my own is going down. Yours will go down in Jesus' name. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Yes, the book of Acts 2, 4. And, we do, yes. and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. After they locked themselves in and prayed, I'm okay. That's why some women can lock themselves and pray and pray. And the husband will change overnight. Overnight. It's through prayer. It's not by shouting or by nagging. You pray or the man. You go and pray over your wife. Your wife can be demonized. Your wife loves you but demonized. All you need to pray. That's why a woman told me before he would get anything from the husband, he must pray. I said, no, he keep praying. He said before, and once he prays, if he asks for 5,000, he, 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 the man will give 20. I said, that you use it as a key. Use it as a key. I have one of my workers before in Nigeria. I want him. Can I hear them? He will pass me. I will bless him. They take um, 5,000. He will pass me again. I said, after that, they will take, take 2,000. He will pass me. And I call him. I said, stop using my name to pray. <laughs> because any time he will pass me, I will hear bless him. Nanigi o chinaka. Nanigi bo. O niyaka. Nanigi o chinaka. Nanigi no bo. O niyaka. Songi o chinaka. Songi no bo. O niyaka. Nanigi. Oh, Hebrews 4, 16. He said, Hebrews 4. He said, come boldly in the hour and the moment of needs. He said, come boldly in the hour and the moment. I'm talking about the necessity of prayer. Yes. Let us therefore come boldly. So this is the time you will come boldly. Spiritually speaking, yes. Unto the throne of grace. Unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy. That you may obtain mercy. And find grace to help in time of need. And find grace to help in time of such like this. This is the time we need the grace of God. If grace. Only grace. Only grace. Only grace. Your grace is sufficient for me. I think there's a song like that. Their grace is sufficient for me. If it is evil, is Woromo, is Woromo, Ebe in a dinota, is Woromo. He said, God, your grace, it just allows them, as, as long as you are there for me, I'm just okay. I just, I'm okay. Is Woromo, Chukoma, is Woromo, Ebe in a dinota, is Another area I will touch about prayer is time elements in prayer. There is timing. Timing is everything. What makes your soup sweet is not the ingredients in the soup or that you use. If you put, try it this afternoon as an experiment. Bring meat. Bring uh, fish. Bring uh, all of and put them at the same time, it will not come out well. It is the timing of the ingredients. Because when you boil your meat first, because it's a hard up time, and you have the stock, you call it, the water from it, you call it the stock, and you use it, 
Then you put fish. Crawfish will come. No, pepper first. Then crawfish. Then fish is the last thing. Towards when the soup is about five, five minutes to get done. You put the fish. Then after that, you allow the fish, the, the food, the soup to rest for about 10 minutes. So that the, oh no, there will be what they call nutritional osmosis. Where different kinds of the meat, they all come out at their best. Because you get people when they are the best. Then you not take the soup again and rewarm. <laughs> you, that, so it determines of what you don't put the soup uh, the onions at the same time. The, uh, that soup will float something on top. So it determines. So, so is prayer. Jeremiah 33, verse 25. God says that there is a covenant. So your prayer must be timed. The, the way you pray by 11 o'clock, it means a lot. You pray by 12, it means a lot. You pray by 7, it means a lot in the morning, in the evening. Everything is more time. The, there is the highest time for prayer. So you have the prayer time, the prayer time, they call it uh, the watch hours. From this time to this time, 3 to 9, 9 to this, 3 to 12, all those things. It's the watch hour. Yes. Jeremiah 33, verse 25. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. if my covenant uh -huh. be not with day and night, uh -huh. and if I have not appointed the ordinances of uh -huh. heaven and earth. So there is the covenant of the day and the covenant of the night. That is why 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. He said, pray unceasingly. Pray in and out of season. Do you know what I do? I, I give you the secret how I've overcome this lockdown. I sleep more in the day. I pray all night. Since I'm not going out. Okay, fine. I sleep in the day so I don't have time to watch all those things. At night, because of, of, of course I can't sleep again, I pray all night. Because the day is for me. I sleep in the day. The night is for the other end. I, 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 I'm awake. Those who born midnight can't win. Both as a student, both as a worker, as a lawyer. If you if good lawyers don't sleep, they prepare their cases till three, four, even at times five, and go to court and vibrate. If you see a lawyer saying, "My Lord, section 15 of he didn't he enjoyed buying time, he enjoyed buying time. He didn't have he, he didn't plan." Then after we say I, I, I raise that objection. But he didn't plan. Or he is, he is at, but if you say, Lord, my Lord, in this matter, the man has not slept. He has all the cases, he has crammed them in his head. According to section this, subsection this, of act of this, of so, 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 ba, ba, he has prepared. I'm not a lawyer, but I have children who are lawyers, who know their onions. So you need to pray. There's something I want to teach you. Matthew 13, 25. It's Matthew 13, 25. He said, why men slept? The enemy came at night to plant tears. So that's why night and now I sleep in the day. I pray at night. Because in the day I won't go out. The everywhere is locked down. Then I sleep than to watch television. Then I because once you read and read... You will just doze up if you read. But if you are watching film, you, you will not doze up. If you are reading, after a while, concentration is down, then you sleep up. Then you sleep in the day, then you pray at night. Because it is at night things happen. It is at night you have manipulation going on. Yes? Matthew 13, 25. And with you? But while men slept. He said, but while men slept. His enemy came. And so a man is only, yes. Is, yeah, I'm with you. And Sorry. so terrors among the wheat. The enemy came to undo him at night. That's why they, they say some 30 by five. Weeping men do all night. Weeping. It is night. He said, why men slept? So people don't come at the hour of your leisure. They don't come when you are awake. So you reverse it. Those who succeed, any coup they plan is at night. The early in, in, the, in the morning, you will hear martial music. But at night, they plan the coup. 
Politicians meet more at night than in the day. Occultic men meet more at night than in the day. Not because of timing. It has a reason why they meet. Because it is, it is their time to operate. God allowed them to operate that time. The lions are, they look for, for their prey at night. And lion is like a rolling lion. Says Peter 5, 8. Because of time. That's why Proverbs 4, 16. I will read that one. He says, some people do not sleep until they have done evil. And sleep is taken away until they cause somebody to fall. It is powerful. It is powerful. Proverbs 4, 16. Yes. For they sleep not. He said, for they sleep not. Except they have done mischief. Or except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away. And their sleep is taken away. Unless they cause some to fall. Until they cause somebody to fall. They will never cause you to fall. But it's not by always saying amen. You must pray at night. That is when you can disorganize them. In the, spiritually speaking. Psalm 91 verse 6 and 10. And 10. Pestilence, they operate at night. So the virus that will move in the day through hands, cancel it at night. But say, Father, you will never meet. Your children will never meet. Members of Jesus' sanctuary, that's where I see it, I pray it. That, Father, they will never come in contact in the name of you. Because you can never know. It's not by face. And you don't know any person. You don't know the, you don't know any person. They, they say, keep two meters away. All those things are manifold. But it's good to obey it. But you, you still need to pray. Yes. No, for the pestilence that walk it in darkness. He said there is pestilence that walk in darkness. So it is in darkness. And verse 10 talks of what? Evil and plague. There shall no, yes. there shall no evil before thee. He said no evil shall before you. you. Neither shall any plague come near no their dwelling. No plague come near your dwelling. So it is at night. You, you say, Father, plague will not come near my house. This virus will never near my door, near my children. It is at night. He said because that is the hour of oppression. That's why the children of Israel, are, they kill the lamb and put the door at the doorpost before in the evening. They put it before night at the doorpost. But, uh, yes, no, before I say final, I will give her some prayer points. Then when you are praying, you must pray with confidence. First John 5, 14 to 15. First John 5, 14 to 15. First John 3, 20 to 22. Just read the, the first one there, then I... Uh, I begin to round up. First John 5, 14 to 15. Yes. And this is the confidence that we have in him. So when you are praying, you must have this confidence in him. Yes. That if we ask anything. That if you ask anything. According to his will. According to his will. He heareth us. He will, he will hear you. And if we know that he hears us. If you know that God hears you. Whatsoever we ask. Whatsoever you ask. We know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. I'm okay. And First John 3, 20 to, uh, 22. And James 1 8. And James 1 8. Yes, For if our heart condemn us. You say, if your heart condemn you. God yes. is greater than our heart. God is greater than your heart. And knoweth all things. And he knoweth all things. Behold. So some of you are praying, oh, I've done so much. Ask God for mercy and still pray. Say, God, you know I'm flesh. That's why I like David. He said, God, my mother is a sinner. My father is a sinner. So understand. Kilo de. God, just come into understanding. My father, sinner. My mother. So what you don't expect so much. Have mercy. But for, for, for me and you, Jesus have died for us. So you see that man? Jesus have died though. Have mercy upon us. And you pray. Yes, I will do. James. One, eight. He said a double A minded, double minded man is uh, unstable in all his ways. And you can never get anything from God. Then note John eleven forty. To 44, John 11, 40 to 44, and Romans 9, 11 to 15. I think I will read only Romans. That John 11, 40 to 44. Jesus Christ told God, I know that he arrests me always. <laughs> John, for these people's sake, allow this thing to happen. Then Lazarus, but first of all, he told him, he said, God, I know you do hear me always. <laughs> he, has, he has not prayed, though, but he has already got up front. So pray with confidence. Romans 9, 11 to 15, and Romans 8, 28. I think then I move to the last point and, and that's it. Yes. Romans 9, 11 to 15. Yes. For the children be not yet born, yeah. neither having done any good or evil, uh -huh. that the purpose of God according to election might stand, Go ahead. not of works, 
yeah. but of him that call it. Yes. It was said unto her, yes. the elder shall serve the younger. Uh -huh. As it is written, yeah. Jacob have I loved, yeah. but Esau have I hated. And we do. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is there unrighteousness with God? Uh -huh. God forbid. Uh -huh. For he said to Moses, he said to Moses I, will have mercy I will have mercy on whom I shall, I will have mercy. On whom I shall have mercy. And I will have compassion. I will have compassion. On whom I will have compassion. I will do, you, you don't follow me. Some of you who want to begin ministry through uh, Ojoro, it's not by copying down or what. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> well, it doesn't follow me. And you go to Nigeria, you all those statements of God who, who prayed for you. It doesn't work. You will go like Dodo. It's not by copying. <laughs> the grace is different. Grace. And you don't get anything through, through the back door. You don't get in, in, in ministry. Ojoro does not work. Or being clever by half. Because you are being clever by half. I was telling Pastor Mr. something. Oh, there was a time I called with the worker. Oh, Pastor, you, you need to go, you need to go back and start home. And I, inside me, I laughed. I said, okay. Unlike me, I, 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 I will tell you, are you planning anything? But I know I left. I got to my told Pastor Mrs. Look at this thing. I know why. But let me allow him. Because there's a time to stop everything. The nice that I told Sister Victoria and Sister Joe, go and pray. Let them go and clean up everything and, and, and pray. He didn't know. I know everything. There's nothing I don't know. I thought I would be looking at people. I can play the fool. But I'm not foolish. I play foolery. But that means I'm not, I'm not foolish. I can be out there. I'm not or they I can play being or there. All this drama you, you see. I can do drama of life. But I'm not that what you think. When they come, come to become, that is special apology to the late uh, Mba Diwe, you will know. And you box yourself into a corner. And you want to destroy your future. The Psalm 18, he says, the, I'm not going to say to the righteous, be righteous. To the forward, be forward. One day, every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner. And this is our, I'm the owner. And that is the day. Finally, not, to, yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, because I got to go, because I will, must give you prayer points. I must give you some, no matter how fast. Continuous exhortation in prayer. Don't pray. Don't stop praying. And some of you say, I've prayed enough. I've prayed enough. Pastors, I've prayed enough. If God will help me, let him help me. Satan has just gotten you. Luke 18, 1 to 7. I will not read that. Luke 18, 1 to 7. A widow, where is a judge? And the judge said, I don't fear God, nor pastors. Let me do what this woman wants. So you can worry God through prayer. Cry over that matter, over your over your need. If you are childless, cry. If you are in pain, if you are sick, Father God, why me? The woman of the issue of blood. She was desperate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything you are desperate to get from God, you will get. Anything you are desperate to get from God, you will get. Even anything you are desperate to get from Satan, you will get. Anything. Go and ask people who use their children to, to look for money. They, they get it, but they don't enjoy it. What does it profit a man? If you gain the whole world and you end up in eternity of hell, of fire, hell fire. That Luke 11, verse 1, why prayer is important. The disciples didn't tell Jesus Christ, teach us how to preach. It was all through scripture. They didn't say, Master, teach us how to preach, but how to pray. Yes. And it came to pass yeah. that as he was praying in a certain place, yeah, yes. when he ceased, yeah. one of his disciples said unto him, yeah. Lord, yeah. teach us to pray. He said, teach us to pray. Not how to preach. Everybody can preach. That's why I said anybody can preach. Oh, 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 anybody, but not every person can pray. Run from churches who don't pray. Stress of prayer. All they do every day in the world. Some them in the world. Just useless world. 
anybody can soak in the word, but not every person can pray. Why is prayer so important? E Ephesians 6, 18. Ephesians 6, 18. Then Mark 11, 17. Mark 11, 17. Yeah, I think I should read Mark 11, 17. He said, your heart should be a house of prayer. I'm closing. So some of you, your house now, this is the only time is the house of prayer. It used to be the house of Pandadian and Salad and gossip and quarrel. Now, for the first time, your house is the house of prayer. All right? All right? Mark eleven seventeen. Yes. And he taught, saying unto them, Yeah. Is it not written? Yeah. My house shall be called yeah. of all nations the house of prayer. The house. Uh, but, your, yes. But you have made it a den of thieves. You have turned the church of God to become a den of thieves. Thank God for this lockdown. No more stealing for some time. But if you go back to Egypt, finish. This, yeah, you, are, you are a sheep. I mean, you are a goat, not a sheep. I will teach it by God's grace. Why some people, the Bible says some people will be a goat in the south. Some people will be sheep. Sheep are those who follow God. Goats are those who follow human beings. I didn't say so. It is in the Bible. By God's grace, you get that teaching. For today's prayer point. Prayer point one, I will, I will run fast. Prayer point one. I will give you Matthew 7, 23. Matthew 7, 23. I will not read it. Any worker of iniquity in, the, in your life, any worker in Jesus' sanctuary, any agent of darkness, any worker, including me, who are workers in this ministry, who are agents of darkness, who have ever tried to use the star of people, use that prayer, or your star, or your star, who have come to inside the church to make a decree, to sweep the footprint of people. You are making a decree, my Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus. Let their soul appear before you for judgment. Pray that prayer. Matthew 7, 23. Any worker of iniquity, any pastor, including me, pray that prayer. Any person that has an advantage to minister to you, either in words or in preaching or through serving in the church, any person that has that advantage and they want to use it for their selfish end, if they remember you and your children, then their children they will become a ransom. You pray that prayer. In Jesus' name. Number two. Exodus 11, 7. I think you read that. I like that because I just discovered it's a, a good prayer. Yes, I'm with you. Exodus 11, verse 7. Yeah, Exodus 11, verse 7, yes. But against any of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall not a dog move his tongue. You say, so dogs, we're we are going to say, Father, in the name that is above every other name, any witchcraft tongue, satanic tongue, occultic tongue, marine tongues, any tongue, energized for your sake, any person that has tongues, that has used called an evil tongue to call you in any covert in their chambers, we are going to pray, my father, my or let that tongue wither. That tongue will never prosper over your children, over your destiny. Because tongues are powerful. Tongues are powerful. Tongues are powerful. Then the, the next one as we are praying. We are going to pray that any person that has taken our names, is it the names of the church of Jesus Sanctuary, in order to, to do voodoo against our members, any person that has that, that opportunity, to take our names and that of our children, to do in to do voodoo enchantment that employ the service of that men of God. We are going to make a decree that in their sleep they will never wake up from today. That any time they shut down the eye, as long as they have come under the influence of my voice, this word will never fail. In Jesus' name, I have prayed it. That is for then Joshua seven eleven. Sorry, Joshua seven one. Joshua seven one. We are going to pray for that. No accursed man or woman. Any accursed man or woman that have been hindering you, your blessing, they will never hinder us again. Any accursed man in your life, let God separate them. Accursed people in Jesus' sanctuary, they, that the Father in the name that is above every other name, we have separated them. I use the blood of Jesus to separate them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, to you be the glory, to you be the honor. No accursed man or woman. They will never operate again in Jesus' sanctuary as workers of iniquity. My father and my all, I stand as a servant of God. I made that decree. If I've ever anointed them and they have ever done evil to my members, 
to the children of this ministry, to our men and women, are there any person that ever here, any worker in Jesus sanctuary? Are they in Nigeria? Are they here? Who are pastors or ministers that are hindrance uh, that are blockade to the to the children of God in Jesus sanctuary? Judgment time has come in Jesus' name. Let them be judged in Jesus' most happy name. I pray. Then uh, Psalm ninety one verse six. Psalm ninety one verse six. I'm closing now. Psalm ninety one. The Father, the pestilence of darkness, the pestilence that operate in darkness, uh, make it nine. Uh, yeah, they, they will never know your house. They will never know your dwelling places, our children's schools. Every pestilence that operate at night and add to verse ten of it, verse ten. No plague, no disease, no evil manipulation, no evil animal, no evil cat, no evil bird. They will never near your dwelling places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In fact, that evil reminds me, one of our members was telling me a story. After praying about beds, which, I, which we saw, and the person I saw as, as bird, the she equally saw birds physically. I didn't see my own physical. And the person called, called her. And the person I've never called her before. But that a prayer activated exposure. So when I was saying that, I saw bird. I saw two birds in the church. And I know who they are. Because so somebody who have left this church said they are the ones hindering the members. That's why every member of Jesus Sanctuary, if you don't pray this prayer, you are just on your own. But I'm happy. I was speaking to the head of men. Because I even said, Pastor, I'm still praying that prayer. Because I nearly, I, oh, I said, yeah, even that night, I remembered it because I almost forgot. He said, Pastor, I'm still praying it. He took the head of men to even remind me the prayer point I gave. And finally, 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 Psalm, Psalm 91, verse, I mean, Psalm 118, verse 17, that I will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, that you and your children, until you finish God's assignment, you will not die. Father, you will not die in this hour until you have finished the work you sent me on the earth. You will, because John 10, 10, Satan is to kill, but they will not kill you, nor your children. I lift you up for this season and this week. Your prayer life will never go down in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my all, though father, we will never go back to Egypt. We will never go back to our vomit in the name of Jesus. My father, the enemy will never laugh at us. There is somebody there looking at me. You will never be a proverb. All those that has the occasion or opportunity, that has anything that we did not, I did not give them. My Lord and my God, if you call me and you are God in heaven, let Father all their plot and plan will backfire against them. If they remember members of Jesus' sanctuary, our children especially, all those that have ever fought their star, my Father, they will be, they will be destroyed suddenly. In Jesus' name I pray. They have become a proverb. I had it. And God bless you. I soak all of you in the blood of Jesus I will see you by God's grace on Tuesday and I'm going to teach by his grace something that you will like to know whether you are a sheep or you are a goat. Invite your friends. Members of Jesus, Sanctuary, they know that already. But it's good to re-emphasize it. And God bless you and bye-bye. Thank you for watching the broadcast of Jesus Sanctuary. Address 25 to 27 Ruby Street of Old Kent Road behind KFC, London SE15 1LR. Services, Sunday services, morning service 9am to 11.30am, afternoon service 12pm to 2.30pm, Bible study, Tuesday 6.30pm to 8.30pm, healing and deliverance service, Wednesdays 10am to 12pm, counselling after Wednesday and Sunday services, impartation night, first Friday of every month, Passover night, last Friday of every month. Telephone 020-7277-5664. 020-7277-5664. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Be sure to join us next time, same time on this channel.